Hello, my name is Kedar and you're watching RPTV. In this video, we have a conversation with Chris Fung, a modern artist and resident of Moss Park. Just a block away from Queen Street East and Jarvis Street lies a vibrant and creative pocket of art, a small gallery called Amazing Moss Park at 183 Queen Street East. Despite the negative stigma surrounding the Moss Park neighborhood, artists like Chris Fong continue to draw inspiration from their surroundings. We explore the journey of Chris Fong's art, his personal journey, inspirations, and the present and future of his artistic endeavors. Let's continue to the video to watch this discussion. Good morning, my name is Mark Madramutu from the Toronto Police Service. I'm also the current president of the Toronto Police Amateur Athletic Association. Here this morning I have with me uh, Superintendent Ishmael Musa from 51 Division and I have Farzad Gatbi who is the current athletic director um, of the uh, AAA. Um, he's also a neighborhood officer within uh, 51 Division. Today's very special, today's very special because we are here for the second year in a row um, right at uh, Shooter 485 Shooter to host the uh, Toronto Police Amateur Athletic Association's Children's Playground Games. So this is a, an annual, a historical um, event um, that we feature. It's more or less giving uh, children um, um, within our communities the opportunity um, to experience um, a sport or participate within a sport or, or have the opportunity to, to learn a new sport. Um, I know last year when we were here, um, it was a, a fantastic event that everyone enjoyed. Um, I'll let Superintendent uh, um, Musa talk about the collaboration and the support that we have um, from our sponsors, from the Toronto Police Service. Um, just, just a great group coming together to put this event on. Thank you, Mark. Uh, like Mark said, uh, my name is Ishmael Musa, and I am the current Unit Commander 51 Division. Now, 51 Division is a special place, and I have just arrived there. So being here today is like my reception to the neighborhood, uh, which is huge. Uh, the TPAAA, the Toronto Police Amateur Athletic Association, has been doing this since the early 60s, all across various uh, locations throughout the city. But for the second year in a row, they're here in Regent Park. It just shows how special this neighborhood is and how involved the neighborhood is. Uh, here at 50, 51 Division, our community response uh, officers and our neighborhood community officers are really ingrained in the community. Uh, our chief, Myron Demkew, really supports the neighborhood uh, program, and he's one of these uh, supporters that really wants our officers to connect with the community and give of themselves. Uh, Farzad here and all the other volunteers do this on their own time in order to be part of that community and to embrace uh, what the community brings to us as police officers. We learn from them as as well as them learning for us as well. Uh, so this day is going to be an amazing day. We've got some great weather, uh, some great kids. We're going to learn some sports. We're going to play some sports. We're going to have some fun. We're going to build on sportsmanship. We're going to build on our energy. And we're basically, and most importantly, we're going to be enthusiastic about what we do here and bring that throughout our, our experiences as police officers to the community. Thank you for that. I have a few words. Uh, we just want to say thank you so much, uh, Regent Park, for allowing us and in welcoming us into your neighborhood and having this opportunity for the kids here. Because we say, you know, it takes a village to raise children, and this is exactly what it is right behind us. We're all involved here. Uh, we're not just uh, showing up as, as uh, uniform officers, but we're also trying to show uh, what's behind the uniform. We're all human beings, and we're here to uh, make sure that this uh, community uh, continues to grow successfully and safely and bring people together and build these positive relationships. So thank you again, Regent Park, for, uh, for uh, giving us this support and we'll hope to make this uh, a, a wonderful event today and uh, share it with all you guys.
Hi, my name is Aramu Khadija, and I work with the Youth in Policing program. I'm here with Jemima, and I also work with the Youth in Policing program. So getting the Youth in Policing program, it was um, a little bit of work, but I will say like it was all worth it in the end. I got introduced to it by the community officers that came to my school and also through my teachers. Uh, we go around and do sports events like this, volunteering with the community. We go online. Yesterday we were at Dorham for the um, Ripple Effect, Effect program mm -hmm. and we were with all the Yippies across Ontario. It, it's, it was pretty fun. I would just spice the map. Yeah, the Yippie program is definitely a wonderful opportunity. As um, Khadija said, we get to go around, we get invited to a lot of events um, evolving with the community and just overall like taking charge and being involved, which is what everything is mainly about. So yeah, very happy to be here and yeah. Um, I'll also say it's it's also a good opportunity, you know, like to really open your eyes if you want to be a police officer or not. Like for me, I want to go into law. I, I know I know that. That's why I'm doing this project. But I don't know which aspect of law I wanted to I want to go into. That's why I'm doing stuff like this. So I can really see if I want to be with the police, if I want to be with lawyers, wherever I want to be with. Like I love it here, but I don't think I might do this forever but like it's still a good opportunity for me because at least I'm seeing the behind the scenes mm -hmm. of what police officers do for the community not just the stick the stigma that people put on media and yeah today basically what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be helping out obviously um, with some of the participants with some of the sports there's like five different sports that we're gonna be helping out with and Overall, whatever is needed of us, we're, we're gonna be ready to do it. So yeah, very excited. There's different areas you can obviously help out. There's like areas with setting up stuff, just even setting up the sports, setting up the tents and stuff. There's different areas to help out with. And obviously the areas I'm helping out with the sports and even just giving directions is considered helping out. So you don't necessarily have to have like a, you know, advanced um, sports background. Yeah, I, be I believe to go into the, to get into this program, you don't have to have like um, a sport background you just have to have like a good background like you have to be a student that stands out in the community that's sure. willing to help that's willing to go around that's willing to provide without complaints you know the officers do so much like it's like f to get in I said in my interview oh I really want to see what the officers do behind the scenes mm -hmm. so like to be your behind the scenes with officers is like something the media doesn't see to be honest so like to get your daughter here or your sister here and they're seeing what the officers do then they get to put in good words to their mom dad sister everybody to come join the yippie programs if they can and get the chance to experience it Thank you for coming out. I'll, I'll acknowledge you uh, once we get started, but I just want to make a couple of quick announcements. We have our executive team here uh, to my right and staff. So if there's anything that you need throughout the day um, or you're unsure of any information, please, by all means, just come and uh, grab one of us. We'll hopefully point you in the right direction. Um, yeah, like I said, a couple of minutes will be starting, but we're going to be featuring about 150 kits today. So as you can see, there'll be a total of six stations um, throughout. Um, so that'll be about 30, 30 kits per station. Um, I think as we have it set up right now, as far as that, it's uh, a sport expert plus a volunteer and, and one UP. Um, we do have... Uh, bracelets, if one of the executive members can hold up. Um, each group will be assigned a different color. So each station will run for about 20 minutes. You will hear that nice horn that you just heard. When you hear that, everybody will be rotating clockwise. Um, just a note, for that six, for that six uh, say, station, that's going to be considered a cool down station. Um, as you can see our static displays, that's for the kids to get the opportunity to just kind of uh, rove around, visit, you know, do some of the static displays, go to Tim's, There'll be, there's an ice cream truck. Um, so if you see them wandering around, or I know Stacy will be in charge or, of that area, um, just help them out or point them in that direction. 
Again, we're just in a holding pattern. Um, just to let you know how things are going to start up, once we start, once the kids come in, they'll be grouped right in front where you're standing. They'll be seated here. We're going to have the superintendent, Musa, um, with the executive, and Hector. You're going to lead us um, in. We're going to situate right in this position here, and we'll start the uh, ceremonies as we, we go forward. Um, other items, bathrooms. Just outside of this rink to the back, there are bathrooms on that side. Um, as well, each station will have coolers with water. By all means, if it is running low, please find an executive member or staff, let us know. Um, we will replenish what is there. So camp counselors and leaders, if uh, your kids are starting to arrive, we're just gonna have them seated right in front of the center area. Just to let everyone know after the piper comes in and everyone's situated at the front, we are going to be standing for O Canada. So at that time, you'll hear it from our wonderful DJ Robert. He will uh, be playing O Canada. So at that time, if you can remove your hats and stand to show respect for our beautiful country. If we can have uh, you all just rise for the uh, national anthem. Remove your hats, please. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Just have a few announcements as we get started. We're running a little bit behind, but uh, I will introduce Farzad in a sec. But before we continue, I'd like to read the land acknowledgement. 
Okay. We acknowledge the land we are meeting on is a traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, and the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse nations, Inuit and Métis. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Thank you for attending this year's Toronto Police Amateur Athletic Association Association Children Playground Games. Give yourself a round of applause as we're here for the second year. Again, my name is Mark, this is Farzad. Farzad was the organizer for this year's games. He's done a tremendous job, I'll introduce him in a second. I have with us today, Superintendent Ishmael Musa, and also the executive team, Joanna, Fabio, We've got Stacy to my right and a few helpers. Um, also want to acknowledge our fantastic staff, Nicole and Mike, who's worked very hard to put this together for you once again. Give them a round of applause. Just a couple of housekeeping items. Um, for those that require a bathroom, just behind this rink to your left, there are bathrooms on that side, okay? Uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our organizer, Farzad. Good morning, everybody. I can't hear you. That's better. Thank you. Welcome to our annual AAA Children's Playground Games. We're so happy to see you guys here. We encourage all of you guys to always get involved in sport activities. And we're so humbled and we love the support that we get from here from Regent Park. Myself and my partner, Mercha Biga, we're also the neighborhood community officers here in Regent Park. So we're so blessed to be uh, welcomed and supported by you guys. And today we're gonna have fun. We're here to build new relationships. You can see officers here from Toronto Police. You can see the Yippie students that we have. We have our volunteers. We have our stakeholders. All these people here, they're all here for you, and they're all here to get to know you guys and to have fun with you. So, without further ado, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you guys into different groups, and we have five different sports. Some sports you may or may not uh, have already played. If you have, if you're an expert, help each other out. Teamwork is everything today. Teamwork and excitement and having fun. If you don't know the sport, that's, that's what we're here for. We're here to introduce these new sports, so maybe perhaps one day you're gonna be a star and you can represent Canada, right? So enjoy yourselves. We'll make sure that you stay within your groups and eventually we're gonna break into uh, a break after and we're gonna have ice cream truck, we're gonna have food, water. Make sure you stay hydrated and let's have fun. Uh, just before we begin, um, I just want to say a quick thanks to, as you can see, our many vendors, our sponsors, Freshco, Tim Hortons, Paramount, Raba, TTC, Toronto Fire Services, City of Toronto, our wonderful volunteers, our rovers, our yippies. Uh, thank you once again for coming to help out. Um, at this time, what we will do, we would like to make a presentation. Uh, Farzad has a little token of appreciation from the TPAAA to uh, our lovely vendor here um, that brings a lot of smiles uh, to your faces. So on behalf of the Toronto Police Amateur Athletic Association, in recognition of Peter Bogatis, for your community services and smiles, you put the children's faces in Regent Park and being essential part of the TPAAA annual tr children's games. Uh, Superintendent Musa, if I can ask you to come up to assist with the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Mr. Bugatis a round of applause for his continued support to Regent Park. Another round of applause. And without further ado, we have a very special guest or honored guest, Superintendent Ishmael Musa. He's going to have a few words for you. Thank 
Thank you, Mark. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ishmael Musa. I'm a superintendent and current unit commander here at 51 Division. I am truly honored to be here today. On behalf of the Toronto Police Services Board, the Chief Myron Demke, and members of the Toronto Police Service, I'd like to welcome and thank you for being here today. You got that? Uh, to celebrate another exciting year of the Toronto Police Amateur Athletic Association Children's Playground Games. Last year, the games were a great success and were held right here at this very location, hosting over 150, 150 participants. Every year since the early 1960s, the TP AAA has hosted children's playground games at various locations throughout the city of Toronto. The games are a full day of activities. Today is not just a sports day. It's a day where athletes embrace sportsmanship, learn to be lifelong learners, and that are energetic, competitive, and great team players. The TP AAA Children's Games also highlights the importance of the collaboration forged between the TP AAA, the Toronto Police Service, community stakeholders and volunteers to promote health and wellness by actively participating in sports and fitness. To co the continued collaboration efforts, as you will witness here today, will make our communities more enjoyable and safer. I would like to take the time to recognize the strong foundation and continued legacy of these games. I know its success would not exist without the continued support and efforts of the following community partners. The City of Toronto, the Toronto Police Services Board and service members, the TP AAA executive team and staff, the Region Park community staff, the volunteers, and you, our participants. And without further ado, the moment you've all been waiting for, I officially declare these games are now open. Have an enjoyable, safe, and great day. Thank you, Superintendent. What great news. So we just uh, have a couple of things before we get started here quickly. Where's my, where's the horn here? Who has the horn? So. This is very important, guys, because when you hear this sound, that's pretty loud, right? So once you hear that sound, today we have uh, six stations. So the first station uh, will be to my left here, to your right. It's going to be rugby. In behind you, there's a basketball station. Uh, to the far corner over here, there's going to be uh, soccer. And we've got cricket. And of course, uh, in the rink, we have lacrosse. So each station will be, if you look behind you, there are the, yes, yes. Rug Rugby is actually in the middle, sorry. Lacrosse is gonna be to the left. Um, so everything is, is housed in this area. Um, our last station, um, it will be if you were given a green bracelet, you're not gonna be in one of the rotational sports. You're gonna be in a rotation where you're just visiting the kiosk or displays or getting some ice cream. Um, we've got some wonderful displays here uh, for you to see. And each station will last for approximately 20 minutes. When you hear that, that means it's time to rotate, right? We're gonna be doing three rotations before lunch. So once you hear that horn, you're gonna rotate clockwise. So if you started here, you're just gonna go on to the next one, basketball, eventually come and you're gonna end off in uh, the rugby area. So we've given all the counselors bracelets. You should have at rotation one, it'll be the blue to my left. Uh, the other bracelets will be red. You're gonna start off at basketball. Uh, purple, you're going to be starting off at soccer. Cricket, you're going to be starting off. Cricket, you're going to be the color brown. And lacrosse is going to be black. And of course, green is going to be at the static displays. So we'll give you another five minutes to get settled, counselors, and get to your stations. Our wonderful sports experts are in behind you. They should be setting up and ready to go. For those that don't have uh, a bracelet, 
please come and see one of the executive staff or uh, members to get a, uh, a bracelet. Just before we move off, if we can get all the kids in the middle, because we're going to have a photo opportunity, just in the middle here, just everybody come towards me. If all the kids can kind of group in this area, right in the middle, we're going to do one big group shot, if that works. And our volunteers, if you can fall in behind, we'll do one big group shot. Sports up. That's why you're here. Thank you. 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please follow us on all our social media platforms, and for more information, please check out our website. Thank you.